So here we go. It's about minus two, late December, and it's freezing. So I'm gonna get up onto that b lac there and bag two Monroes, which I will put on the screen. I'll do, be doing this on the South Shield Ridge and in an anti-clockwise fashion, and then come back down this track before it gets too dark. Okay, better get going. Over there, it sun's out, but it'll come over this way later on. That's where I were yesterday. Went up that glen there, up onto that Munro, then back on the Corbett here. Beautiful day. Right, get going. Okay, this is where I turn off. This path here, it uh, goes up to a, a small lock and before I start climbing even higher. So I better get stuck in, I've got to go way up there. Minute, sun gets up. And as I started to climb higher to the first Monroe, the ground was still frozen where the sun hadn't reached. to flatten off a bit here now. <laughs> so that for a view. All of Kintel. Absolutely stunning. It's no cap mountains. Okay, left the path behind now. This is rough terrain from now on. Look at this lock and all frozen solid. Go ice skating, not a chance. Up there, that's where I'm going. I'm going to pick my way up there, back onto the Munro there. So I should be, well, it looks a very tough climb, does that? So get stuck in. Just a bit of a river to cross. Oh, burn. This ground's frozen, easy to walk on, these bogs. Got some friends over there, a few stags on the horizon, can you see them? Yes, one would say rather steep and slippy. Getting nearer. Looks really steep, does that? Okay, crack on. Well, I reckon about halfway now. There's that lock and that came past. Look at that for view. Lock Clooney. <laughs> Bit of cloud inversion down there. It's beautiful. Right, crack on. Starting to hit the snow line now. Look at that. Okay, I've got to get up there now. So I better get cracking. Getting there. Not that far now. Oh, going on this stuff. And after another 10 minutes of battling through powdered snow, I finally made it onto the plateau. Wow! I'm not even on summit yet, and look at views. Sun glaring. 
There's the second one roll. Okay, crack on. And with the temperatures hovering around freezing despite the sunshine, I was now within striking distance of the Glen Shield Ridge. It's like being in a desert, ice desert. Look at this stuff. Easy to walk on. And with the sun blinding me from the south, the first summit was inside. Well worth the effort. Look at this. Over here, views. now gotta get down there so I'll just take my time Okay, that's Kek Navoy and I can just make out the trig point on the second Monroe. So I'm gonna grab a bit of lunch and get him pretty hungry now. Okay. Just found where I'm having lunch. Look at this. Made for it. And after a 10 minute break, I decided to get moving again to get going. And with the second one row in touching distance, it was full steam ahead.
does give you a quick pan round, but it's very similar to views to the last Munro, right down to Loch Clooney and all the Munros again, Kintail, and then spin round again, right into the sunshine. Okay, leaving the summit behind now. I must be first up here because there's no footprints on the path at all. So, right, I'm just gonna straight down there now. Starting to lose the snow line now. That's a Corbett in front. I'll put it on the screen, the name. I did that about three years ago in blizzards. Good day though. Very slippy. The path is, I'm on the grass. It's that slippy, that path. I've left the snow line now. Um, can you see that track down there? That's what I'm going for now and back. So. Well, once again, I'm going home. In the dark, well, it's not dark, but it's going dark. That's Lock Line over there. If I spin round where that bridge is, I'm going home that way on that track. So, another big day, and I hope you've enjoyed coming along. It's been uh, different being out on the snow and been out on that for quite a while. So, I'm carrying on filming this week. So, so I hope you can join us on some more videos, and I will say thank you very much again for watching. Okay. Hopefully catch you on the next one. Okay, bye from Scotland.